The Foolish Bear, Short Stories for Kids. Today we have a book named The Foolish Bear, Short Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. This is one of the awesome happy animal stories for children. So, here we go. Once upon a time, in a forest lived a bear. This bear was a greedy one. Wherever he went, he wanted the biggest thing. One day, when the bear woke up in the afternoon, his stomach groaned loudly. Oh dear, I am extremely hungry. So he decided to go out in search of food. That day, the sun was shining brightly and everything looked beautiful. Oh, such a pretty day today is, exclaimed the bear. Then I'll have fish to enjoy this day, the bear thought cheerfully. So he hurried to the riverbed. Upon looking into the river, the bear became happy. There are so many fishes. I shall eat a lot to today. Looking at the fish intently, he waited for his chance. Upon finding the most opportune moment, the bear struck in one swift motion. I caught it. He roared, he roared. But when he looked at it, he wasn't that happy. What? Oh. This fish is too small. It won't fill my stomach. I will wait for a bigger fish. So, the bear threw the small fish back into the water. The bear again began hunting again. He waited for a chance. After waiting for a while, he found his chance and he swung his large arm. He caught another fish. Oh no! He cried. Even this is too small for my stomach. I will wait for the bigger fish. So, the bear repeated the same act again and again. Time and time again, the bear caught the small fish. And time and time again, the bear the fish go. Always saying the same thing. I want to eat a bigger fish. This small fish won't fill my huge stomach. In the end, the bear had nothing to eat because he had thrown every fish back into the river. Morale. Many small things make up for one big thing. Never let go of what you have in hand for what you don't have yet. The end. Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.